Hello, Cindy here with Create Your Own Luck in Love. So today we're gonna to talk about how to create a quality connection with a man. It is so often I hear from women and they want to know how to create a deep connection with a man that truly lasts. And newsflash ladies, men want the same thing from you. So um, oftentimes it's, it's about learning how to be vulnerable and we can get in our heads or get into this robotic mode where we think we should be a certain way, which isn't truly you. You know, it's like you're wearing a certain mask out, out there in the world and it's not who you really are. But more on that later, I'm actually um, hosting a masterclass on Saturday, June 20th. Um, which is all about um, truly removing that mask and how to manifest lasting love this summer. So I will definitely drop the link in here too so you can attend. It's gonna be awesome. Anyway, let's get back to business. Um, all right, I want to, so we're talking about how to form a quality connection with a man. So there is a psychologist, his name is Arthur Aaron, and he took the time to do some research around um, individuals to, you know, men and women specifically, um, on explore whether you can create a deep intimate connection rather quickly by asking certain questions and it turns out you can so i'm gonna sit and and the he it was like 36 questions so you guys can look it up but i'm going to share some of you, some of the questions and also give you what my opinion and insight is to support you in really opening up to create that vulnerability and connection because it, it does come down, deep connection does come down from be, being vulnerable. All right, so the, I'm gonna share some of the questions. So um, here's a few of them is oh is there something you've ever dreamed of doing that you haven't done yet and if so if you haven't why not um oh thank you for all the kind compliments it's good to see everybody today um so that's one of them the next one is what is the greatest accomplishment of your life um Next one is, what is, I really particularly love this one, what is your most treasured memory? And what is your most traumatic or terrible memory and why? And gosh, there's some other ones too, but, um, and this one I really particularly love, ladies, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so, share a, you know, a personal issue that you're having a problem solving. Um, so, and ask for advice. Ask him what he thinks and to reflect back to you how you're feeling about it. Ask him what he thinks and to reflect back to you how you're feeling about it. And those kinds of questions right there create a deeper emotional connection so much quicker. And it's, it's all in the listening because all of these questions are conversation starters because you can go deeper in, into something when you, know, when you learn something new about someone and vice versa. It's fun to actually, you know, gamify a, you know, a, a date or even a meet and greet. So there's not as much pressure. You, you make it fun. But these things create a deeper emotional connection quicker. And I do believe that. Um, the other thing too is, you know, looking into someone's eyes as you are speaking to them. There's another research around, and, and I will actually post it in the group, 
around um, people that hardly knew each other and they were staring into one another's eyes and there was a study around how many couples actually fell in love and um, it was it was high and they ended up staying together so there's there's a lot of intimacy in looking into one one another's eyes they say that you know the eyes are the windows to our soul so I I'm going to, I, I love the last question because it gives a man an opportunity to solve a problem for you. And men love to do that. They wanna be your hero in any way possible. So if you give him an opportunity and you open up about something that you know is on your mind or bothering you or you're feeling vulnerable about, it doesn't need to be, you know, if you're, you know, if it's something really, really serious and you're not quite ready to share, you just, you, you want to monitor that. But I highly, highly recommend these questions and have some fun with it while you're getting to know someone. And I can also tell you this, if the person is emotionally closed off, if they're a narcissist, if they're, you know, if they're not healthy, it's not going to work anyway. So you can't shift change him into what you want to see, right? So anyways, I hope this helped. Let me know. Um, let me know if it helped. Just put, yes, this helped. I want more videos like this. And if you are happen to be on YouTube, I would love it if you like this video, give me a like and hit the subscribe button so that you can see these videos several times a week. Awesome. I am sending you so much love. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye.